Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have come up with a new requirement. So as you can see on my screen, I have a column chart which is sales by month and I have a slicer for month. So the requirement is whenever I filter any month from the month slicer, suppose I am filtering this Feb, so it should highlight the Feb month with a different color. And if I filter another month like May, August, you can see the Feb, May and August are in blue color and the rest of the bars are in gray color. So this is the requirement. So let us see how we can achieve this. So let's start the video. So as you can see on my screen, I have this sales by month chart and a month slicer. And in the data model, I have two tables, financials and date table. And if I go to relationship, this date table is connected to the financial table with the help of date column. So currently, if I filter the months, so Feb, April, June, whatever months we filter, it will show only those bars. But we have to produce something else. That is, we have to see all the months but just highlight the filtered month. For that, what we can do is, so since the date table is connected with the financials table, if we filter anything from the month, it is going to filter the months. So first of all, there should be a disconnected date table. So let's create a disconnected date table. So to create that, I am going to select any table, let's say a date table, and from the table tools, I can select new table, and let's say new date table, and I will say date table. So it is just going to create a copy of the date table. Now we have two date tables. One is date table and another one is new date table. And if I go to the relationship view, this new date table is not connected with any other tables. And in the month slicer, we will have to use the month from the new date table because it is disconnected. So I'm going to use it from this new date table as we don't want to filter this chart. Now if I try to filter the chart with the help of this month slicer, it is not going to filter this chart since it is coming from the disconnected table and it does not have any relationship between the two tables. So now we are going to create a new DAX measure which is going to solve our issue. So for that I am going to go to this financial table and right click, click on new measure. Uh, I will name it as highlighted month. So here I will say if is filtered month from the new date table so here i'm checking if the month slicer is filtered so if the month slicer is filtered and max of month from the old date table in values month from the new date table so here what i am checking is whenever the month slicer is filtered so whatever we select from the month slicer we will get those month values in this values since they are coming from the same table that is new date table okay now i'm checking that this month from the old table from which we are creating this chart should be within these values suppose i'm uh, selecting jan feb and march and it is storing jan feb march in this table and we are comparing that the old date table month is in jan feb march then i'm going to highlight the color light blue Else, I am going to say, make it light gray. You can also use the hex code for the colors here. I am going to close the bracket and click on enter. Now we have to open this formatting and go to the columns option. In the columns option, you can see the colors option. In the colors option, we can use this conditional formatting FX button. And uh, in the format style, I will use field value where I am going to choose the highlighted month measure which we have created just now and click on OK. As soon as I apply the conditional formatting, the color of the bar changed to light gray. Now let's see what happens if I filter the month. So if I filter the month slicer, let's say I'm going to filter Feb. See it's changing the color. And if I say August, June, see it's highlighting those months with a different color that is light blue. So this is how we highlight the filtered months in a column or bar chart. So that was it for this video. I hope you like this video and have learned something new from this video. If you like my videos, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.